Anna Kasparian is a gal on the internet. Anna Kasparian has, uh, has been leaving the left for right around two and a half to maybe 10 years now. I have no idea. Um, she is a, uh, the young Turks, uh, contributor. I think she's worked at the young Turks for maybe like her entire adult life. We actually looked this up at some point. I think she graduated from college in like 2007 or something and basically went right to work for the young Turks. She grew up in Reseda, California. She's a person of, uh, a, a person who has basically been primed to be your ideal Republican. She is completely isolated from normal society. She's had a sheltered, bizarrely cloistered upbringing. She went right to work in the most white collar non job a worker can have. <clears throat> and now she whines about shit on the internet, which is basically, you know, um, she she has quite literally the exact same life path as uh, Vosh Vidya, only she works for somebody still. The VTuber Meta works. Look at all the donos. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, you're right. Um, but Anna Kasparian has been leaving the left fucking forever. I, I don't know exactly what was ever leftist about her other than she was like mildly progressive to some degree. Like she said, gay marriage, cool. All right, neat. Um, but like a lot of quote unquote leftists um, online and, and, and for the last like 15 or 20 years, what you find out is they're not really like leftists. They don't give a fuck about other people, really. Their largest concern is their own immediate access to rights, safety, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they're door closers. She is a person that didn't even realize the door was open. She just, the second someone noticed it, she was like, oh, she had to get, she had to notice it. She went, oh, fuck, started slamming the doors shut. All of this began with her doing the fucking, I, I think being called a birthing person is insane, which is like, yeah, I guess that's probably why fucking literally nobody's ever done it. So yeah, I guess not wanting something to happen to you that doesn't happen. That would also just be the most mildly awkward moment that no one would really give a shit about. It's definitely worth, uh, definitely worth starting fights on the internet about. That's kind of just who Anna Kasparian has been. This all blossomed into. She got into fights with Vaj. She got into this, got into that. Bada, 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 bada. And now um, <clears throat> she is basically uh, hopping up on the Trump train. Hopping up on the uh, on the old Tizzle Trump train. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to go ahead and play this little uh, cut here. Come on. Fascist. Because look, if we're just notion of a fascist. Because look, if we're just going to use fascist toward anyone we dislike... All right, then the word doesn't actually mean anything. Okay, what do you want me to say, Anna? You want me to say wannabe dictator? Uh, sure, you can say uh, wannabe dictator, but I don't even think he wants to be a dictator. Of course he does. That's what you do when you lose an election and you go, oh, I got fake electors and, I, and I'd like to terminate the Constitution and bring out the tanks and use martial law against American citizens and shoot protesters. <sighs> I mean, if that's not fascist, then I guess the word just shouldn't exist. But was he able to do those things? <laughs> Trump <laughs> She's so fucking stupid, dude. Um, I don't know if Anna is seeing the writing on the wall or something, or if the young Turks are like in trouble. This is a very late parachute pool, um, to the point where it's actually kind of like almost nonsensical. The, the right wing media sphere online is in fucking shambles at the moment. Uh, worse than it's been in a long fucking time, <clears throat> mostly because Russia is running out of money. Russia's running out of money and Russia's getting caught and Russia's also like persona non grata when it comes to trying to influence Americans at all. And so Russian money has died, dr dried up like crazy. Hundreds, I think, of millions of dollars probably total between a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And of course, the tenant media thing over the last few months. And as the tenant media thing has kind of like, um, you've seen like uh, quartering has just shut down a major news site. Tim Pool has just shut down, I think, shut down TimCast. I don't know if how, how real that is or not. Um, <clears throat> and then a lot of the, just the, that general grifter sphere of people who she interacts with and would work with in the event that she actually, like, transitioned over, like, that's kind of collapsing. There's not a lot of room for new voices over there at the moment um, and not a lot of additional money. The ideal time to have left the left is 10 years ago when everyone was leaving the fucking left. 2015, 2014, <clears throat> she could have followed other alumni out of TYT, 
David Rubin is a former TYT guy who became who left the left because unlike Anna, he's a man, uh, even though he's a gay Hollywood guy. And so he, he was white enough um, and, and wealthy enough that he thought he could leave the left and be like, you know, I, I'm secure fighting for basically just doing anything to close the door behind me and then I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It's all good. You know, I'll, I'll just close the door just gently behind me and, and, and walk on. Uh, I think Anna wants to be able to do the same thing, but it's been like way too fucking long. She missed the, she missed the train, you know, the, I, I don't know, maybe there's going to be like an, a center, a centrist grifter sphere or something, or like maybe ah, fucking turfs are about to come back. I'm not sure exactly what this, this, this pivot is supposed to accomplish, but I think it's only just making her look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Like, um, Trump is just to address it. Like Trump is absolutely like a fascist. I, if, even if he couldn't identify what fascism is, doesn't care about it and denied it every day. He just generally just does the fascism. Like he's like, he thinks it's based Fanish fascism would benefit Trump immensely. The people that want Trump to be in charge, want him to be in charge because they think he'll do fascism he has never said he really wouldn't. He has done the fascisms already here and there, uh, violently breaking up and gassing protests. You guys remember that upside down Bible day? Um, you know, trying to order violence against, uh, against anybody that kind of, <clears throat> not anybody, um, but ordering, ordering, um, you know, not even ordering, just basically trying to fucking smack down anybody that has any criticism for him, trying to fill up his, his entire cabinet with dummies and yes men, um, trying to, you know, push people to break the literal fucking law and get, uh, get himself elected against the will of the American people by, by cheating, voting Americans out of their election, you know, and, and if you're a fucking righty and you want to whine and sh I, I, you guys got to drop that, you guys got to drop that fucking attack. It's worthless. Just move on. Every fucking righty that abandons the fucking uh, Jan 6 election was stolen shit. You guys are all primed to become golden gods here in about fucking two or three months. But the thing is, is like, yeah, even if somebody can't doesn't articulate what they're doing as fascism and they're not like, I'm specifically trying to do what Giovanni Gentile did. It's just a natural thing. If you do populism with the idea that the populism you're trying to achieve belongs to one specific well-articulated group of people who have a, a an established and unified identity i.e mega republicans um and you want to you know uh give contracts you want to seize economic fucking power and give it specifically to people that fall underneath the umbrella of your loyalists and seize power and give it to all the people that fall under the umbrella of your loyalists and everyone that falls outside of the umbrella has to get fucking downsized, minimized or relegated to like fucking scut work until they die. That's, that's fascism. That is just what it is. That, that's what it's trying to achieve. All the permutations and shit are pointless to get into because everybody has their own little way of drawing a triangle. You know what I mean? doesn't mean that if it's not a fucking right angle, it's not a triangle. The same thing with fascism. With Trump and fucking, you know, the MAGA Republican movement, it's just like a natural recourse or, or it's just a natural evolution of like the sort of hyper nationalism, us, they mentality that was already being stoked, but not like, you know, it was kind of tongue in cheek, wink, wink almost from like the uh, larger Republican like commentary sphere. Now it's just really out front. It's just like, yeah, they're doing, a, they're doing a fascism. I'm not even like judging you morally. I'm just saying like, that's what's happening. And if they get elected, then you have very, very strong, uh, very, very strong engines, basically pushing the entire country away from liberal democracy and deeper into a fascist state. Doesn't mean it's going to be like, Oh, the day he gets elected fucking, you know, we're going to be goose stepping and shit or that, that, that fascism would be intentionally, um, intentionally like based on specifically nazism from 1938 that's not how that works but like yeah he's just it, he's a fascist <laughs> like by any bog standard definition of it if you're even if he was just like no i'm not a fascist and i, I think fascism is lame the you're the leader of a movement where everyone underneath you is like fascism is fucking base and we want to do that 
and we're all articulating fascism and we want him to win for the fascism. You know what I mean? You're kind of just doing the like, <laughs> you're kind of just doing the dog whistling and stuff at that point. But um, with Anna, uh, I, I don't know what she's really trying to achieve here. I'm going to play a little bit more of this. No, his, his rhetoric is so, awful. Okay, if you don't want to be called fascist, stop saying fascist things. It's not that hard. Okay. Not that hard. Oh, here, let me have dinner with Nick Fuentes, who's a Nazi, Kanye, who's a Nazi. And let me say there's good people on the Nazi. He said, oh, it could be pro-Confederate guys. Might be guys who are pro-slavery who are good guys. Let me do all of these things. Let me say that immigrants are poisoning the blood of our nation, a Nazi term that is only used in the past by Nazis, and then say, I'm going to ban Muslims, I'm going to do this and this and this to all the other ethnic groups, and then go, oh, I can't believe you called me a fascist. No, he is a fascist. I'm very happy to call him a fascist. All right. Um, there. Like, why do you got, why are you making Chank Uger look like he's fucking spitting? The most basic fucking political right. takes ever. All right, I'm not going to get back into it. No. <laughs> Ideal Anna Kasparian fucking screenshot right there. Um. But yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is, dude. Um, Anna Kasparian's cooked. I, I, that's kind of all I can say. I, I don't see her building any fucking bridges out in the the left. I don't think she has the fucking balls to actually like embrace what she is embracing. Like, I, I've been saying this before that it, we're about to be in mask off hours. Right after this election, win or lose, it's about to be like th there's going to be no place literally no place for women in commentary on the Republican side, I think probably in about four to six months, especially if things are going the way that they are because women don't have a place in male spaces. I, I don't know how to explain this better. Women don't have a place in male spaces. If uh, in, in the direction that the MAGA movement wants to go. There's probably a bunch of ladies who are like, no, no, no. Like, my husband respects me. I'm MAGA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're talking about the people that run shit. There's going to be spots. There's going to be people that want to vie for spots, and they're going to push every single fucking woman that they can out of it, and it's just going to become miserable. It's going to be Roger Ailes fucking sexual harassment Mondays every goddamn day. Those are the people that she's going to be impressing with this sort of speech. That's the only, that's the only fucking direction that you can go if you're if you just noticed really all of the fucking female commentators that you're used to are vanishing all of them are going the fuck away abby shapiro has vanished that brett uh chick has basically like vanished from any sort of relevancy i know they're probably still making stuff but they've been pushed aside are there any major Fox News like ladies that stand out in any certain way? Oh, that's always been a pretty much male dominated swing around. And there's not been really much of an attempt to like find a replacement for any any high level person as a chick online. There's no room for it. The entire Goonergate movement is about 45 percent of the entire online right right now. And that's all about just raw dog dick fucking misogyny, pro misogyny and pro pedophilia. Women have value up until the children, female children have value until they're 14 and women only have value if they're barefoot and pregnant. Like that's the direction you're going. I guess the other side of things, you know, the other direction is like, oh shit, someone, some cringe fuck with colored hair that you will never ever run into because they probably don't even have a fucking job at a hospital has like articulated in their blog that they think people should say birthing women or birthing person so that people don't feel uh, uh, like uh, put to the side when if they're a trans man that happens to be pregnant or something like shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's such a non it's such a non complaint. The f oh my God, the fucking left calls me a genocider. The left the left says the left refuses to be nice to me. They call me names. They have called me this. They have called me that. Like, bro, call me f every slur. Call me every slur. Call me a racist. Call me a fucking anti-Semite. Call me a fucking Nazi. Call me a fascist. Call me a communist. Call me a socialist. Call me a, a, a pro-gay, whatever the fuck. All the slurs. I don't give a shit. I'm a grown fucking adult. I don't understand being a pussy on the internet. I really just don't understand that. I don't give a fuck if she's like a lady. And, like, if she fucking wants to take fucking umbrage at that, suck, like, good. 
more umbrage, more more fucking umbrage towards Anna Kasparian. I, I'm fucking sick of her. Literally nothing of value to say. <laughs> nothing, nothing of value to say. You're, she's a talking head that's born to repeat lefty talking points. And then like, you're on the fucking internet. Dude, like fucking Alex Jones went and interrupted fucking uh, uh, Chank shit a million times. I don't understand why you guys are such gigantic fucking puss bags about people saying shit. Not everyone's going to like you. People are fucking stupid. This like hyper focus on like, oh, this person tweeted. It's like, who is this person? Is this a person of value? <laughs> is this like some well-known individual that we should all give a fuck about? Like, no, if Vosh called me a stupid bitch or something. Okay, well, he's a pedophile. Just ignore him. Literally just don't care what he says. And then like these other people who no one knows, uh, they said that uh, I'm a piece of shit for fucking the birthing person comment. Like, stop fucking caring. Literally just grow up, be an adult, and don't care. It's Twitter. Like, when you get a negative tweet about you, do, does like $5 slip out of your bank account? <laughs> you know? Do you, do you all of a sudden do like, oh shit, dude, I, I said something on Twitter and uh, people got really fucking mad at me. And now my house is full of spiders. It's the fucking Twitter spiders. The fucking, Jesus Christ, the Twitter spiders are in my house. The Twitter spiders are everywhere because somebody has canceled me. I've been canceled. Help. I have, I have been canceled. Help me. Help me, please, God. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm so fucking sick. I'm so fucking sick of this goddamn being a fucking pasty ass, never gone through a fucking hard day in your life bullshit from fucking people on the goddamn internet. It's the fucking internet. Dude, my like third stream I ever had, I had no one. One person came in, called me a slur, told me to kill myself, and then left. And then I just fucking kept streaming. Yeah, everybody knows how dangerous a Bernie bro in the wild is. It's absolutely absurd. This this idea that's like every single person that's out there that's on your side, so to say, politically, needs to be like in congruence with you and also has to be the nicest person and also has to be the most well-kempt, decent human being to you is fucking psychotic. There's a bunch of douchebags. Yeah, should the douchebags be going out and representing us? No. But they start when you fucking, like, platform them. I just wanted to say that my completely made up and fucking, uh, like, panic-driven um, response to this idiotic fucking tweet is like, Oh, God, this is this is just how the left is. Like, dude, you're, what, what is the grift? Where, where are you going? Is it just your butt hurt? Is this just, like, blonde fucking daddy's girl shit? Like, I, I really can't fucking hit it home enough. Who in the fuck? Who in the fuck wants you to fucking represent them if you can't take a fucking hit on the chin and the second that somebody's fucking mean to you, you start literally excusing fascism. What the fuck is the point of your existence on my side of the fucking thing? What's the lol cow meter say about Anna and what's left of the TYT crew? The lol cow meter? Is that a bit that I did? <laughs> I'm built different. I don't have full animation frames. It's true. It's true. Oh my god. Um, the low cow. I don't think that Anna's ever gonna be like a low cow. Low cow. She doesn't do anything worthwhile. I, I think she's just fucking irritating. She's a space absorber. Is really what it is. Um, a Anna Kasparian exists to try and hand W's to the right, intentionally and unintentionally. Like the point of her is that. She's a fucking idiot and always kind of has been, you know what I mean? Like, it's like Anna Kasparian is right about something. She's, she's basically like Charlie, you know, penguin, penguin zero. He never has like a particularly hot take, but he can get pretty like, I'm going to raise my voice about something everyone agrees with. <laughs> I don't know why I did Ron Swanson and said, and that's kind of like the point of her existence. It's kind of the point of fucking TYT. She's the chick side of, of, of the, of the, the, the fucking table, literally. Um, it's, it's, it's all the fucking like chink does half the goddamn time too, but it's just, this is the most bog standard thing. Okay. Now we're going to repeat that it's bad in an elevated voice. That's the value that we bring to this, 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 this fucking sphere, right? They're old hat. They're old news. No one needs fucking 
boring as fuck uh cnn style pundits for fucking leftism it's it's not even that valuable of a thing so like anna kasparian the entire time that she's been around has just been her fucking handing l's or fucking yeah handing l's to the left and dubs to the right i i can't literally think of anything that she's ever done that's been of particular value she debated ben shapiro and like i think i was like at the time like uh she didn't do that great i know we're all trying to say like okay she's a leftist so we're gonna say like she did really really good but um no i don't think so feels more like she was kind of you know fucking glazing up the the fucking the gigantic assembled crowd of rich guys oh that was a bunny flop did you guys see There he is. That's the little guy. By the way, if you give a hundred dollars to the treat meter, folks, we're gonna give that bunny right there. That bunny. That. Hey, Outlander. Your quest. <laughs> hey, Outlander. Have you noticed that bar right above me? <laughs> if you get that bar to a hundred by donating enough caps, you too can. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hey, adventurer. Have you noticed that little bar above my head right now on the main left side of your HUD? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's. Hey, adventurer. Have you noticed that little bar above me on the left side of your screen? If you get that up to 100 by donating enough ant by donating enough caps, you can get that little critter right there a treat. Don't you want to give that critter a treat? <laughs> Don't you want to give that critter a treat? You should want to. Dude, I, I start giving a quest completed for you guys to do donos. Oh, my God. The Young Turk said these days isn't even that far to the left of CNN. They're just CNN with worse writing. I really can't disagree. I, th I think the biggest thing, too, that makes them kind of, like, not overall valuable is they don't seem like they do a great deal of reporting that is of any worthwhile note to anyone. Like, really, if you think about it, they're the first, they're basically kind of like some of the earliest uh, streamers, which is really, they, they put on like nice clothes and stuff and they give a pretension of being like CNN, but they're just streamers. They're on the internet, they read other people's stories and then they comment on them and they suck up a fuck load of money to do commentary, which made more sense when you, you know, take the clock back to like 2009 and there's no one doing leftist commentary, but now everyone's doing it. You know what I mean? And leftism has become much more mainstream and... Really, I, I just feel like there's not that much value to TYT other than like they're constantly like being lol cows and they also put themselves in a position where they can say like, you know, I'm a leftist and these leftists today are falling short of my expectations. Like that just seems like the only thing that they, they do that actually kind of spreads further outside of their circle. What's the odds she gets picked up by Daily Wire and starts a podcast with Fem Shapiro and other conservative women is used as a token to give liberals a pass to watch that shit? Uh, I would say not great. Maybe get picked up by Daily Wire or something. But I don't know if she would necessarily be doing that specifically. Um, I just don't see her teaming up again. But maybe. You know what I mean? She might have to have someone else in the room. I could see her on like a, a, you know, I don't know if you guys remember Crossfire. I could see her being a fucking pushover on a Crossfire type thing um, where she can give a very good, cause she's like the ideal fucking liberal woman. You know what I mean? She had one bad encounter with a fucking homeless guy who like rubbed his dick on her, or jerked off or whatever the fuck. I don't know. He sexually attacked her and that's horrible. Shouldn't have happened, but it did. Uh, also shouldn't have completely annihilated your moral framework, but that's beside the point. Um, but she's, she's like the fucking ideal leftist lady because of that, because the one thing that you'll always be able to get her, get her to fold on is fucking crime and punishment, which is the ideal, ideal fucking, um, through line for like conservatives and Republicans when they want to talk about why liberalism is a failure, because she can say all of this good shit about like workers and jobs and unions and blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, she's a scared, blonde, pretty white woman from a rich neighborhood who was almost raped by a homeless person. That's the story. 
and she likes big cops because of that. So she's just like the best thing. She she's literally the liberal um who who's like, you know, it's a well, what are you gonna call the cops when when some fucking homeless guy jerks off on your shoe while you're walking your dog? And it's like she's like, Yes, I am that. I am that liberal. She said, you know, I am that liberal. And a lot of people like to ignore me. Um, but I do think that we need to spend way more money on fucking cops. And also my parents, my grandparents are landlords. So it's like, dude, what? you're handing them like two of the biggest fucking two of the biggest possible dubs. You're just like a literal living example of the fucking spoiled, uh, fake lefty latte, lefty white girl who fucking had a bad day. And now she's absolutely a pro cop. Karen fucking based cool. Sick as fuck. I'm honestly surprised people don't fucking hit that hit that nail on the head harder, but she doesn't have that much profile, so I'm also not surprised people just don't even give a fuck on the right. But yeah, I think that kind of wraps it up, man. I think that kind of wraps it up. I, You know, it's just, I'm sick of fucking, I'm fucking sick of Anna Kasparian. The only valuable thing she's had to add to the discourse is just repeating what other more interesting people have been saying, probably more accurately and with some fucking references, you know what I mean? Um, and generally I think she's really just used as a tool to highlight, highlight the iniquities of the left from a purely Republican perspective, like the ideal. She, she's just wonderful. She, literal, just a living latte, liberal max fucking max points hypocrite. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to her sliding into obscurity. I wish she would just do something else. I don't know. Go consult or something. You know what I mean? Hope you enjoyed your time on the west side. Don't forget to subscribe.